Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the prize giving function of 2022 for the Faculty of Health Sciences in the University of the Free State. In this special occasion, the top achievers for 2021 in the academic program will be rewarded for their remarkable performance. A hearty and warm welcome to the Dean of the Faculty, Prof. Gert van Seyl, and the heads of the five schools that are within the faculty who are present, the heads of the departments who are also here, and of course, a special welcome to the guest speaker for tonight, Prof. Witness Moody. Welcome to the different sponsors, welcome to the presenters of the awards, and most importantly, welcome to the recipients of the prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me just to go through some of the house rules. You are informed that the function will be held in the foyer of Fran Charitive Building. Photos will be taken in the foyer of the same building. 85 rent will be charged per A5 photo, and of course the cut machine is available, so no excuses. A selfie banner will be available in the Fran Charitive Building, and of course, please take note, the floating trophies and shields should be placed on the designated tables in the foyer of the Francharitive building after you've taken photos. You may not take them home with you. And for the prizes that have prize money that is involved, the following needs to be noted. If the winners are still registered with the university as students, the prize money will be paid into the student accounts after the function. You may then apply for a transfer to your personal account unless your account is in areas. Winners that are no longer registered as students, money will be paid into their personal bank accounts. And of course, if you need to use the restrooms, if you go out of this building, you just, I mean, out of this room we are in, just turn to the left and you'll find them there. And of course, I am requesting that we may please switch off our cell phones. Thank you. We will now want to invite the guest speaker who's going to give us the keynote address for tonight. Allow me to introduce to you the director of the Center for Graduate Support at the University of the Free State and a visiting professor at the University of the Vedvatasrand. He joined the University of the Free State from the University of Vatasrand, where he worked for close to 14 years. Before that, he worked at the University of Zimbabwe. He was the deputy president and president of the South African Society of Physiotherapy between 2016 and 2021. He holds a BSc Physiotherapy Honoraris degree from the University of Zimbabwe, a master's degree and a PhD from the University of Vedvatasrand. He has published more than 38 articles in peer-reviewed journals. He has supervised to completion more than 25 MSc and PhD students. He has experience in the higher education sector, which spans over 24 years. His passion is creating an enabling environment and capacitation of postgraduate students and academics with the requisite research skills needed to complete their postgraduate degrees and research projects within the permissible minimum time frames. He believes, and I repeat, he believes, his strengths to be teamwork, strategic planning, attention to detail, and ability to work with people from various backgrounds. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome Prof. Mudzi Witness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, from direct, Program Director, for uh, that introduction. Good evening. How are we doing? Um, I would like to first start by observing the Dean, Prof. Fancil, and the heads of schools, the heads of departments here present, the lecturers, support staff, the sponsors, parents, guardians, 
and students that are going to be receiving the various prizes that we have on offer today. Um, it is truly an honor and my pleasure to stand before you today to give this speech. When I was invited to be the guest speaker, my first thoughts were, what am I going to talk about? And then it dawned on me that actually it's very easy because it's not about me. It's about these guys that are getting the prizes. So it's very easy. If it was going to be about me, it was going to be very difficult. These prize winners that we have today are a true representation of everything that we stand for here at the University of the Free State. We are looking at very hardworking, intelligent, and articulate young people who are a credit to the faculty and by extension, the University of the Free State. They are indeed an inspiration to us all. And it is occasions like this that we have today which give us a glimpse into the skill, the high expectations, the commitment of not only the students, but also the staff within the faculty. These prize winners are indeed what we hope for and expect of our students. To quote the legendary Brazilian soccer star Pele, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what we are doing or learning to do. Indeed, life has two rules. Number one, never quit. Number two, always remember rule number one. I think you all agree with me that 2021 was a very unique year, and so was 2020. We were indeed challenged by the COVID-19 pandemic on many levels. And I'm sure you also agree with me that the very fact that we are able to gather here and honor these gallant students that won prizes is on its own a huge success that we should celebrate. I know it is not um, my day, it is not about me, but I think I should tell a little bit about myself as well before I move on. Like you have already heard, I was born and raised in Zimbabwe, went to school in Zimbabwe, where I also did my undergraduate physiotherapy degree. So as you can see, I, I do have very strong links to the Faculty of Health Sciences, because that's my first love, honestly. That's where I belong. Um, I then came down to the University of the Vitu Vatasrand, where I got my master's degree. And, and I need to tell you something. Cum laude, I did get it. I did get it with distinction. So. So I think I'm in the same category with these guys. And then I also got my PhD. Um, this was after I had worked for about three years uh, as a physiotherapist at a national rehabilitation hospital in Zimbabwe. And I'm, I'm going to come back to this because I, I think it, it talks to what I'm going to be packaging as my, mes my message this evening to say, yes, we have got this prizes that you have won. What's next? What are you going to look forward to? I, I then went back when I completed my master's degree and joined the University of Zimbabwe as a lecturer because then the minimum requirement for one to be a lecturer was a master's degree. They have since changed that. Um, this is some years back. I won't say when. I don't want to expose how old I am. I then taught at the University of Zimbabwe for three years before joining the University of the Vit Vatasrand where I taught for close to 14 years. And then I decided it was time for change in direction and leave daily teaching and join administration where I then found myself being appointed as the director for the Center for Graduate Support. For some of you, I'm quite sure you're wondering what this Center for Graduate Support is all about because it's not something that we are all familiar with. It's um, not a new department within the University of the Free State. It's what we previously know as the postgraduate school. We had the name successfully changed to the Center for Graduate Support, which was approved by council on the 18th of March this year. So it's quite a recent change. And we are still to do the formal launch of the new name, which is going to be happening very soon. And we are going to invite all of you to that big occasion. Um, I think the new name that we have does reflect more on what we do 
as a sender, which is to provide support. And again, I'll come back to this um, later on in my talk, because I think you guys, the next stage is postgraduate studies, and I cannot leave this stage without talking about postgraduate studies, because that's really my area of interest. Coming back to the year 2021, I need to hasten and say it was not only challenging to students. I think more often than not, we forget how challenging it was to staff, both academic members of staff and also the support staff. It was not easy. Staff members were faced with a decision where they now had to offer some of their teaching online. Students had to adapt the new method of teaching. Obviously, it goes without saying that when you're talking of the faculty of health sciences, you're talking of a completely different animal. It's a different breed. Why am I saying this? It's because most of the teaching that happens in the faculty either requires bedside teaching or clinical teaching or practical demonstrations, things that one cannot do from home or over you know, the internet or as a webinar or whatever. And it is because of this that the Faculty of Health Sciences was among the very first faculties to recall students back on campus. And I think it was the realization that if we don't do this, then we are going to affect the quality of our graduates, and it will have huge implications on the quality of service that will be provided as far as our people are concerned. So it's something that you know, they didn't take lightly. You know, it was not an easy thing. It had many challenges, but they pulled it off and eventually the whole university followed suit. So well done to you. It is pleasing to note that despite these challenges that were faced not only by students but also by the staff members, we still are able to celebrate today. We are still able to celebrate the achievements that were uh, accomplished by the students despite this uh, challenging environment. I, I can't emphasize enough how important the lecturers and support staff are in, be, in us being able to have the day we have today. They are a critical component of any success in the academic project, and we should always acknowledge that. I think the sacrifices that they do do not go unnoticed, and I think you hear that from the dean and everybody else almost every day, the heads of departments, heads of schools, because they realize how important staff are to us being able to have a day like today. Today we are going to see students getting prizes from the departments of occupational therapy, physiotherapy, um, dietetics, optometry, biokinetics, from the School of Nursing, um, the Department of Radiation Science, and also from the MBCHB undergraduate degree programs. We are talking about professionals here that are entrusted with the well-being of our citizens. And to be able to succeed and even get prizes given to the outstanding students is no mean achievement. It is something that we should truly marvel in. I think I'm in a fairly unique position to understand how difficult it is to end up with students being able to complete an academic year, let alone get prizes like today, or even how difficult it is to end up with students graduating with degrees from the Faculty of Health Sciences. Why? Because I have done both. I've been a student, I've been a lecturer. So believe me, I know what I'm talking about. It's not easy. When you speak with other people from other degrees, it is the fun, you know, they will tell you they actually respect the guys from the Faculty of Health Sciences. They know how difficult and how hard it is to get a degree there. We are all aware that um, as students, you are the first ones to come to university when the year starts. And most probably the last ones to leave as well when the year ends. The same applies to staff. So that's a lot of dedication that is involved there. It, it goes without saying that um, when you look at the activities that are being done within the faculty, and by extension the university as well, Clearly, there's a lot of effort being done to try and uplift not only the quality of the graduates within the faculty, but also the skills that are being imparted to them as part of the teaching process. 
Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have got recipients that will receive a variety of prizes. And I would like to directly speak to the winners. You are all amazing. You've done something unique. You've done something that we are all proud of. When you work hard in your studies, you are not doing anybody any favors other than yourself. Yes, you want to make your parents or your guardians proud, but that is not the only reason. You are also striving to be recognized by your peers. You want to be recognized for your work. You want to be outstanding. In the end, it is for your own good. So well done to all of you. The lecturers need to be appreciated, those here present and those that are not here, that are at home. I, I think one of the most underrated things is the strain that lecturers go through. You know, students have got this funny belief that um, lecturers don't want them to pass. I, I don't know from where, but it's, it's very funny. You hear students saying, so and so lecturer so and so doesn't like me, that's why I'm failing. I'll, I'll give you a very short story. When I was still at the University of the Vidvatasrand, I was coordinating the fourth year uh, class of physiotherapy, and we had a student who had failed their fourth year. First time, they repeated, failed again. And we thought, now they are going out. Little did we know that the rules were silent about fourth years. You could fail and get chugged out of the program in first, second year, third year, but when it came to fourth year, the rules were silent, and as such, you could repeat until maybe you get old or get tired. <laughs> so then I sat down with this gentleman and I said, I need to understand. What is the problem? What can we do so that you are able to pass? What he said floored me even up to this day. Then he says to me, you know when you know more than the lecturers, they get jealousy <laughs> and they fail you. I'm quite sure you can, you, you can all see why this gentleman was failing just from that response. It took a lot of counseling for him to eventually realize that the problem was not with the lecturers, but with him. Then eventually he passed. So believe, believe me when I say, lecturers do get bothered when students don't do well. If you are teaching a class and your students fail, you don't sleep thinking, am I good enough? Could I have done something differently? And students don't know this. They think we enjoy seeing students fail. Never. That's not the case. Of course, you guys, you didn't do this alone. You also had parents brothers, sisters, and other relatives. In some cases, even boyfriends and girlfriends that provided support during the course of the year. It is that support which enabled you to succeed in your studies. We should not take it for granted. When one looks at the recipients of the prizes this evening, some of them are amazing. I was looking at some of the winners and thinking, goodness me, they took all the prizes available. It's unbelievable. Let me take this opportunity to speak to each and every year that's going to get a prize this year. To those that are getting prizes in first year, well done. But remember, this is just the beginning. You need to keep working hard. You need to keep listening to the lecturers. Believe me, they know what they're talking about. When you do that, you are laying a strong foundation for your future. To the second years, you have done very well. And I hope you have endured, or should I say endured, the two years of university education. Why? Because you did it under the COVID-19 pandemic. But despite all that, you are winning a prize for your educational efforts. What we can say is, you are amazing. Keep up the good work. Keep laying that strong foundation for yourself. And the future can only be brighter for you. To the third, fourth, and in some cases, fifth years as well. Obviously, you are now pros at this. I don't think I've got any new advice to tell you. You know what to do. You just need to keep doing what you are doing and make a success of your studies. Like I said earlier on, I can't complete my speech without talking about postgraduate studies. 
because really that's, my, that's very close to my heart. I want to remind you that everything that you are doing now, if you are still doing your first, second year, third year, or fourth year, or even fifth year, is critical in terms of determining whether you are going to be able to do your postgraduate studies or not. The marks that you accumulate from first year all the way to your final year are important in ensuring that you find it easy to be accepted for your postgraduate studies. They are also important in ensuring that you get funding for your postgraduate studies. So it is critical that you work hard continuously. In essence, I think it's ironic that I'm already speaking to the converted because you guys, you are already getting prizes. You can't be getting prizes if you are not working hard or if your marks are not good enough. But it's a message that's important to remember. When you further your studies, when you embark on postgraduate studies, it gives you a better footing when it comes to work. Well, one might argue and say, in my area of work, especially you guys, all I need to do is look after my patients well, because that's what I'm employed to do. However, there's more to life than that. There are lots of other opportunities that you can tap into other than just being a clinical specialist after graduation. There's also evidence to show that once clinical, clinical skills do improve with further education, so your postgraduate studies are important. You guys are in a unique position. You are truly in a privileged position. Why? Because I can tell you now that you have got some of the best lecturers in the country. You do have some of the best support staff in the country. And even some of the facilities that we have are unparalleled. Make use of those. If you are still within the university, that is if you haven't graduated yet, Keep on working hard and remember you've got these structures at your disposal to utilize. We want you to graduate, not only graduate, but do so with excellent clinical or health-related skills. We want you to go out there and make a difference in people's lives. Go out there and improve the quality of life of our people as a country. As I stated earlier, you are with one of the best health science faculties in the country with the best lecturers, facilities, and all you can do really is pitch up and do your bit. I want to conclude my talk by saying, you have done something amazing, you worked hard, and the sky is only the limit for you. You will be able to achieve anything and everything you wish for in life if you keep working hard. The lecturers are there for your support. Keep bothering them with questions. That's what they get employed for and get paid for every month. And remember, they do have your best interest at heart, always. Once again, congratulations to the recipients of the various prizes that are going to be given this evening. Congratulations to the lecturers. Congratulations to the dean, the heads of schools, the heads of departments. And congratulations to the faculty. You've done very well. Keep doing well, and may you make a difference in everything you do. Always remember, whatever you do, do it to the best of your ability, because you never know who is watching. You should do everything with the assumption that you are being watched. Give it every effort that you have in your body. Yes, studying sucks, but trust me, not more than failure does. Thank you once again for inviting me to talk to you. It has been an absolute honor. I wish you nothing but success as you go forward as students, or graduates, and of course, as the faculty. Have a great evening. Thank you. Wow. Did you hear that? We are one of the best faculty of health sciences in the country. Prof. Gert, keep those performance bonuses coming. It means we're doing our job. All right, thanks, Prof. Um, Witness Muzi. By the virtue of your professional standing, I would regard you as an elder. And in the deep 
rural Buputatswana, where I was born and bred, if an elder has spoken, nobody else can speak. But allow me to add to your words to say that as it is through hard work, dedication, determination, discipline, as well as resilience that you guys are sitting here today. Prof. Mudzi, colleagues, let's thank Prof. Mudzi once again. Um, if I was in church, because I can see everybody's relaxed, including myself now, I was going to say, indeed, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. And we shall rejoice. But unfortunately, I'm not here for that. Ladies and gentlemen, I can now introduce myself because I've introduced the guest speaker. I am LJ Mohakwe from the School of Nursing, and I regard myself as a nurse at heart. I'm a professional nurse by profession. Thank you. Now let's get to the business of the day. The announcement and presentation of academic prizes. Before I'm going to do that, remember we are still in the midst of an ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. We will therefore not shake hands. If I was somewhere else where I used to go, we would be doing Bluetooth greeting, I mean Bluetooth greeting, but for now we will do an elbow shake. Okay, thank you. Um, let me start. Please take note that the following prizes are awarded based on the academic achievements during 2021, and we will commence with the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, particularly in the Bachelor of Occupational Therapy. The first award is the Department of Occupational Therapy Prize that is awarded to the best third year student in occupational therapy. The recipient for this award is Saluomi Kellerman, and the award is presented by Mrs. Azet Swanepul, the head of the Department of Occupational Therapy, who is a sponsor for this award. <laughs> Thank you. The second prize is Otasa Prize that is awarded to the best fourth year student in occupational therapy clinical, which is given to Lisa Marie de Clare, and the prize will also be presented by Mrs. Azet Swanepul on behalf of Otasa. The next prize, PPS Insurance Company Prize, awarded to the best fourth year student in theoretical occupational therapy, the recipient, Lisa Marie de Clerc. The, the, the prize is presented by Ruan Nell from Graduate Wealth. We therefore move to the Graduate Wealth Prize, awarded to the best student in research in the fourth year. The recipient is Kista Wilson in absentia. Now, without wasting time, yes, yes, let's give it to Kirsty. We now move to Jock Murray Prize, awarded to the best student in community service learning. The recipient is Rina Witt in absentia. The in-stop floating trophy goes to the best fourth year student in practice management in the context of private practice in occupational therapy. The recipient, Lisa Marie Clerc, presented by Mrs. Azad Swanepul on behalf of in-stop. The next award, Marlies Vattermeyer Floating Trophy, awarded to the student with the best performance over four years of study in occupational therapy, the recipient, Lisa Marie de Clerc, presented by Mrs. Azet Swanepul on behalf of Marlies Vattermeyer.
We now move to BSc Physiotherapy. Dr. W. Hrindel Floating Shield, which is awarded to the best second year student in physiotherapy. The recipient, Mariska Stanner, presented by Dr. Roline Barnes, who is the head of Department of Physiotherapy, who is sponsoring the award. I like the elbow shake. The next award, High Tech Therapy Prize, awarded to the best academic third year student in physiotherapy, the recipient, Tiffany Jacobs, presented by J.D. Bietcher from High Tech Therapy. The next prize, High Tech Therapy Prize, awarded to the best clinical third year student in physiotherapy, received by Mark Kutsia, presented by J.D. Bietche from High Tech Therapy. Then we move to the South African Society of Physiotherapy Prize, awarded to the best clinical fourth year student in physiotherapy, the recipient, Ashley Janse van Rensberg, presented by Alicia Grazia, chair of the Free State Society of Physiotherapy. Still with the South African Society of Physiotherapy Prize that is awarded to the best academic fourth year student in physiotherapy, the recipient Chantal van Niekerk, presented by Alicia Grazia, Chair of the Free State Society of Physiotherapy. High Tech Therapy Prize, awarded to the best final year student in physiotherapy, recipient Chantel van Niekerk, presented by J.D. Bietcher from High Tech Therapy. Good Chantel, that's what we call a U-turn, a U-turn. Physiotherapy Medal, awarded to the best final year student in physiotherapy, recipient Chantel van Niekerk, Dr. Rowling Barnes, please come and present the head of Department of Physiotherapy. We now move to the Department of BSc Dietetics. Department of Nutrition and Dietetics Prize awarded to the best first year student in dietetics the recipient in appearance, presented by Prof. Louise Vandenberg, the head of the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics. <laughs> the Fresenius Gabi Prize, awarded to the best second year student in dietetics, the recipient Erika Muellman, presented by S. May van der Westhazen from Fresenius Kabi. <clears throat> the Abbott Laboratories Floating Shield awarded to the best third year student in dietetics, the recipient Nikita Block pool presented by Prof. Louise Vandenberg on behalf of Abbott Laboratories. <clears throat> Abbott Laboratories Prize awarded to the best final year student in clinical nutrition, the recipient Giselle Sneeman, presented by Prof. Louise Vandenberg on behalf of Abbott Laboratories. Applause 
the Milk South Africa Prize awarded to the best final year student in community nutrition. The recipients are Wetu Chobolo in absentia and Marita Albertain, presented by Prof. Luis Vandenberg on behalf of the sponsor. Department of Nutrition and Dietetics Prize awarded to the best final year student in food service management in dietetics, the recipient, Lizelle Sneiman, presented by Prof. Luis Vandenberg, the head of Department of Nutrition and Dietetics. The Nestle Nutrition Institute of Africa Prize awarded to the best nutrition intervention program in the final year BSc Dietetics and this awarded to a group including Lizelle Sneiman, Wetu Chobol in Absentia and Linda Njaha presented by Jennifer Mashapa from Nestle Nutrition Institute of Africa. there is definitely not going to be malnutrition anymore. <laughs> Let's move to the Bachelor of Optometry. The Mellon's first year optometry prize admitted to the best first year student in OTMS 1522 and OTMS 1523 clinical techniques. The recipient of this award is Chanel Menkis, presented by Inga Lobscher from Mellon's Eye Style. Jean-Pierre Darker Floating Trophy, awarded to the best first year student in optometry, the recipient, Chanel Menkis, presented by Prof. Tuane Rasengani, the head of department of optometry on behalf of the Durker family. <laughs> Don't leave the envelope. Mellon Second Year Optometry Prize awarded to the best second year student in OTMS 2613 and OTMS 2623 clinical techniques. The recipient, Lea Krill, presented by Inga Lobscher from Mellon's Eye Style. The Jean-Pierre Derker Floating Trophy, awarded to the best second year student in optometry, the recipient, Lea Krill, presented by Prof. Tuane Rasengane on behalf of the Derker family. The Merlin's Third Year Optometry Prize, awarded to the best third year student in CLPT 3706 clinical techniques, the recipient Deirdre Jonker, presented by Inge Lobscher from Merlin's Eye Style. I'm already thinking about no, those nice sunglasses. PPC Insurance Company Prize awarded to the best fourth year student in the clinical module COPT4800. The recipients are Husna Gulamo and Brandon Fint in absentia. Husna. <laughs> and presented by Ruan Nell from Graduate Well. Biokinetics. PPC Insurance Company Prize awarded to the best third year student in exercise and sports sciences. The recipient, Mizan Fulyun, presented by Laken Farland, Farland 
from the Biokinetics Program Leader, Department Exercise and Sport Sciences on behalf of the sponsor. <laughs> PPC Insurance Company Prize awarded to the best fourth year student in exercise and sport sciences, the recipient Marietta van Yerden, presented by Lake and on behalf of the sponsor. <laughs> Biokinetics Association of South African Medal awarded to the best fourth year student in exercise and sport sciences, the recipient Marietta van Yerden, presented by Lakin Farland on behalf of the sponsor. <laughs> Marietta, please open the gym, I'm coming to join. Right, now, under general, let me introduce these prizes, undergraduate research prize which is awarded to the best undergraduate research article as selected by a joint School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences Evaluation Panel. The recipients are from the Department of Nutrition and Dietetics, Marita Albertain, Anne Kurzen, and Wetu Chobolo, who's absent. The title is Patient Satisfaction with the Food Service in Bloemfontein Public Hospitals. Study leaders, Dr. L. Meko, Dr. Edith Toy, Ms. A. Carson's Porter, and the biostatistician, Ms. M. Nell. Prof. Gert van Zeil, would you please present this award? <laughs> Marita Albertain and Anne Kwartzen. I would want to see the results of the study if the patients are satisfied or not. <laughs> now the Kofsi Alumni Trust Award is awarded to the best overall first year student in the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. The recipient is the Department of Exercise and Sport Sciences, um, Alexandra van Veik, presented by Nongkulu Lekolekota on behalf of Kofsi Alumni Trust, Alexander van Vey. <laughs> van Skyk Prize, awarded to the third year student in the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences with the best clinical performance. The recipient, Nikita Block, presented by Prof. Corlia Janse van Furen, the head of the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences, on behalf of the sponsor, Nikita Blockpool. <laughs> Santi van Furen Award, awarded to the most professional final year student in the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences from the Department of Physiotherapy. The recipient is Chantel van Ikerk, presented by Prof. Corlia Janse van Fieren on behalf of Prof. Santi van Fieren. School of Health and Rehabilitation Prize awarded to the best final year student in the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. The best final year student. The Department of Occupational Therapy, the recipient Lisa Marie de Klerk and presented by Prof. Corlia Janse van Fieren, the head of School for Health and Rehabilitation. As the overall best performer, Lisa Marie de Klerk was born and raised on a small holding just outside Bloemfontein. She attended Willem Postma Primary School and Central High School, where she matriculated with seven distinctions in 2017 and was announced as part of the top 50 matriculants in the Free State. 
She fostered an immense passion for culture and academics throughout her school career. In her matric year, she was selected to be part of the school's representative council of learners. She was elected as sub-editor of the school's newspaper, Tralia Varia, and was cha vice chairperson of the Academics Association. Lisa Marie also obtained full colors for both culture and academic achievements through her school career. She commenced her first year in occupational therapy at the University of the Free State in 2018, during which she achieved second place at the East College Top 10 First Year Awards. Additionally, she became a member of the Golden Key Society. In 2019, Lisa Marie was the Dark student winning first place at the East College Top 10 Awards. She obtained the departmental prize for the best third year student in occupational therapy in 2020. Currently, she's completing a community service in the occupational therapy department at the National District Hospital in Bluefontaine. This department has, has exciting plans for 2022 and has set out to change the face of occupational therapy in public health. Watch the space. Lisa Marie feels honored to be part of the exciting journey and would like to continue saving people in public health for as long as the Lord is willing. Amen. As far as the future plans are concerned, only one thing is certain. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Lisa Marie is content with knowing more than what this verse promises. However, she's entirely confident that occupational therapy is a calling without a doubt in her mind. She has not yet discovered which fields of OT she favors the most. So for, so for now, she's embracing the journey, learning as much as she can about as many things. With all her heart, Lisa Marie believes that she would not have obtained these awards without the Lord and the consistent support and love from her family and friends. She will forever be grateful that she had the privilege of sharing this journey with them. The School of Health and Rehabilitation Science is proud to present Lisa Marie de Clerc with the School of Health and Rehabilitation Science prizes and wishes her well for the future. Congratulations once again, Lisa Marie de Clerc. Thank you. Now we move to School of Biomedical Sciences, School of Clinical Medicine, and School of Pathology. In the MBCHB undergraduate program, MBCHB Year One, Community Health Prize awarded to the best first year medical student in concepts of health and disease. The recipient is Ntirom Tlanga, presented by Prof. Vellum Kriya, Head of Department of Community Health. <clears throat> Community Health Prize awarded to the best, the second best first year medical student in concepts of health and disease, the recipients Karishma Naika and Jody Stale, who's absent, and this award is presented by Pro Velum Krier, the head of Department of Community Health. <clears throat> the Kofsi Alumni Trust Award, awarded to the best overall first year student in the School of Medicine, the recipient of the award is Sune Scholes, presented by Tnonkulu Lekolekota on behalf of Kofsi Alumni Trust. <clears throat> MBCHB Year 2, Ampeth Pathology Medal, awarded to the best MBCHB student in the MDIS module, the recipient, Avisha Supersat, presented by El Nacheyer, marketing officer from Amperth Pathologists. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Hematology and Cell Biology Prize awarded to the best second year MBCHB student in hematology, MHAE2724. The recipients are Alexandra Smith and Abetsu Malika, presented by Dr. Lariska Haupt from the Department of Hematology and Cell Biology. Anatomy Prize, awarded to the best second year MBCHB student in anatomy, MANA2618. The recipient, Alexandra Smith, presented by Dr. Yolandi Swart, the undergraduate medical program director on behalf of the Department of Basic Medical Sciences. Physiology Prize, awarded to the best second year MBCHB student in biochemistry, MMOL2618, the recipient, Reabietu Maleka, presented by Dr. Yolandi Swart on behalf of the Department of Basic Medical Sciences. The Nova Gen Africa Trust Prize awarded to the student with the highest average mark in all the modules in the second year, the recipient Avisha Supersat, presented by Dr. Yolandi Swart on behalf of Nova Gen Africa Trust. MBCHB Year 3, the Novagen Africa Trust Prize awarded to the student with the highest final combined mark in clinical skills, the recipient Shezri Thiel, presented by Dr. Marwanki Swinfen from the Clinical Simulation and Skills Unit on behalf of the sponsor. Gnostics Medical Equipment Prize awarded to the student who displayed the best progress in clinical skills, the recipient Lukolo Mapita, presented by Dr. Maraz Maranki Swinfen on behalf of the sponsor. Undergraduate Research Prize recipients, Michelle Nell, Sunel Biekus, Edward Jacobs, Kayla Lesson, Megan Mayer, Cody Barnes, and Lawrence Braden Hahn. The title of the research, The Knowledge of Postpartum Patients Regarding Methods of Contraception Admitted to the Maternity Ward at National District Hospital, Bloemfontein. Study leader, Dr. M. Van Lil from the Department of Family Medicine, Biostatistician, Mr. F.C. Van Rooyen. Michelle Nell, Sonel Biekus, Edward Jacobs, Kayla Lesson, Megan Mayer, Cody Banz and Lawrence Braden Hahn. And the award was presented by Prof. Gert van Say. <laughs> Thank you, Prof. Third year School of Clinical Medicine Floating Trophy awarded to the student who obtained the highest mark in all the modules in the third year. The recipient is Shezri Till, presented by Dr. Hanneke Breds, Phase 3 Chair. MBCHB Year 4 Ophthalmology Prize 
awarded to the MBCHB4 student who obtained the highest average mark in ophthalmology, provided it is a distinction. The recipient is Arno Lamprecht, presented by Prof. Wayne Mare, Head of Department of Ophthalmology. Barry Fichat Medal, awarded to the MBCH before student who obtained the highest average mark in general surgery. The recipient is Mikarla Duplessis, presented by Dr. Nicholas Spies, head of department of surgery. Department of Otorhinolaryngology Prize awarded to the MBCHB4 student who obtained the highest mark average mark in otorhinolaryngology. The recipient, Christian Foslua, presented by Prof. Ria Sidat, the head of Department of Otorhinolaryngology. Henry Dubovsky Medal, awarded to the MBCH before student who obtained the highest average mark in internal medicine, the recipient Christian Foslua, presented by Dr. Tabi Somofoking, head of Department of Internal Medicine. Yanni Divert, Discovery Prize, awarded to the best overall MBCHB fourth year student, the recipient Christian Foslua, presented by Mr. Yanni Divert, the sponsor. <laughs> MBCHB five. Cornelis Vessels Medal, awarded to the best final year student in surgery. The recipient of this prize is Mario Vieira. However, Mr. and Mrs. Vieira, the parents, will receive the prize on his behalf. Mario Vieira in absentia. <laughs> and the award is presented by Dr. Nicholas Pierce, the head of Department of Surgery. Sir, so please remain standing. Thank you. <laughs> the Horace Wells Medal, awarded to the best undergraduate student in anesthesiology, the recipient in absentia, Mario Vieira, presented by Prof. Lombi Uodendal from the Department of Anesthesiology on behalf of the South African Society of Anesthesiologists. Mr. Vieira, I will tell you when to sit down. Please remain standing. Yapi Hao Medal, rewarded to the best final year student in internal medicine, the recipient in absentia, Mario Vieira, presented by Dr. Tabi Somofoking, the head of Department of Internal Medicine. <laughs> Paul Fisher Medal, awarded to the final year student who obtained the highest combined mark in pediatrics and child health, at least 75% in the fourth and fifth years of study, the recipient in absentia, Mario Vieira, presented by Dr. Lizita Bani, the head of Department of Pediatrics and Child Health, who's also a sponsor. The Arendt Medal, awarded to the best undergraduate urology student in the clinical years, 
the recipient in absentia, Mario Vieira, presented by Dr. Nicholas Pierce on behalf of Prof. Fred Klassen. The SA Orthopedic Association Prize awarded to the best clinical final year student in orthopedic surgery, of course in absentia, Mario Vieira, and the award is presented by Dr. Nicholas Pierce on behalf of the sponsor. The Psychiatry Medal awarded to the best final year student in psychiatry, the recipient, Mario Vieira, presented by Prof. Janus Pretorius, the head of Department of Psychiatry. <laughs> the PPS Insurance Company Prize, awarded to the best undergraduate student in family medicine, the recipient, who else other than Mario Vieira, presented by Ruan Nell from Graduate Well. Thank you, Mr. Vieira. Say to Mario, mm. Mm. thank you. The Obstetrics and Gynecology Medal awarded to the best student in Obstetrics and Gynecology. In absentia, the recipient is Muhammad Randeri. The Nestle Nutrition Institute of Africa Prize awarded to the student who obtained the highest mark in the final examination in pediatrics and child health, provided it is a distinction. The recipient is Muhammad Renderi in absentia. <laughs> South African Academy for Family Practitioners Prize Awarded to the best final year student in family medicine, the recipient is Muhammad Renderi in absentia. <laughs> Department of Orthopedic Surgery Prize, awarded to the best theoretic, theoretical final year student in orthopedic surgery, the recipient is Muhammad Renderi in absentia. <laughs> Rudasa Elective Award, is awarded to the student with the best elective study in family medicine. The recipient is Rene Duplessis in absentia. <laughs> Bongani Mayosi Foundation Students Prize awarded to the final year student in the undergraduate medical program as chosen by peers for the following characteristics, academic achievement, social accountability, and emotional intelligence. The recipient is Twenga Mkwebi in absentia. <laughs> South African Medical Association the Free State Branch Prize awarded to the best MBCHB final year student, the recipient Mario Vieira, and presented by Prof. Dirk Hagemester, Chairman of the South African Medical Association Free State Branch and Vice Chair of the South African Medical Association Chairpersons Forum. Rhythm Financial Mentors Prize, awarded to the best final year student who graduates MBCHB program cum laude. The recipients are Mario Vieira in absentia, Maria Lise Nell in absentia, Mohamed Randari in absentia, Muhammad Musa, and Zaniel Koprianov. The person to present this award is Leonette Betsy, Business Development and Marketing Manager, Rhythm Financial Mentors. School of Clinical Medicine Prize awarded to the final year student in the undergraduate medical program with the highest academic achievement over all the years of study. The recipient, 
Mario Vieira, presented by Jürgens Hanekom, the Divisional Head, Rhythm Financial Mentors. Da ist ein Blombot. <laughs> Alright. Mario Alexandra Vieira was born in Clarkstop, Northwest, but grew up in Boerterville with his three brothers. He completed primary school in Boerterville and went to Great College in Bloemfontein to complete his secondary school career. He here excelled in sport, leadership, and academics. Rugby was his favorite sport, representing the Free State Under-16 team at the Grand Home Week, and he was on the Under-18 Craven Week team of the Free State Cheaters. His leadership was recognized when he was selected as school captain of Gray College in 2016. While at the UFS, Mario represented the Free State at the Under-19 Curry Cup, he was the top academic achiever in his class from second year and graduated from the UFS cum laude. Mario contributes his achievements to his friends and family for their unbelievable support and unconditional love. In his words, all glory is to God, for without him I am nothing. Amen. I want to say thank you. UFS and all who trained us from day one. We are well prepared and equipped for the road ahead. I am proud to say that I have graduated from the UFS. Mario is currently doing his internship at Eddington Hospital in Durban. The School of Clinical Medicine is proud to present Dr. Mario Vieira with the School of Clinical Medicine Prize and wishes him well for the future. Mr. and Mrs. Vieira, please say to Mario, I say halala. <laughs> well done. Now we move to the B, C Radiation Science. The MG Lothar Floating Trophy awarded to the best final year B, C student in medical physics. The recipient is Yolanda Lombard presented by Dr. Friek Duplessis, the head of Department of Medical Physics. <laughs> BMEDSC Honors, the PC Minar Prize, awarded to the best honors student in medical physics, the recipient is Kaylee Lewis in absentia. Van Rinsberg Lancet Pathology Laboratory Prize, awarded to the BMEDSC honor student with the highest mark in the research component of pathology. The recipient is Krista Alberts, presented by Dr. Madeleine Peters from Van Rinsberg Lancet Pathologists. Van Rinsbeck Lancet Pathology Laboratory Prize awarded to the second best BMED SC honor student in all the pathology disciplines. The recipient is Megan De Brain, presented by Dr. Madeleine Peters from Van Rinsbeck Lancet Pathologist. I feel sorry for those who have to work long walk, then there is a complete silence. <laughs> Van Rinsbank Lancet Pathology Laboratory Floating Trophy, awarded to the best BMED SC honor student in all the pathology disciplines, recipient Krista Alberts, presented by Tandong Ngoko from Van Rinsbank Lancet Pathologist.
Master of Medicine in the MET program, the Medical Physics Floating Trophy awarded to the best MET student in medical physics. The recipient is Etienne O in absentia. <clears throat> PPS Insurance Company Prize awarded to the best student in practice management in MET FEM all over the years of study. The recipient is Louis van de Fenter in absentia. <clears throat> family Medicine Medal awarded to the best overall MED family student. The recipient is Salma Smith and the recipient, I mean the recipient is Salma Smith and the award is presented by Prof Steinbeck from Department of Medical Physics. Now we move to school for Pleegkind. That's my school. <laughs> the undergraduate program. The Kofsi Alumni Trust Award is awarded to the first year student from the undergraduate nursing program who achieved the highest average mark in all the modules and passed with a distinction. The recipient, Eloise Hrobelar, presented by Nonkulule Kolekota on behalf of Kofsi Alumni Trust. <clears throat> School of Nursing Floating Trophy, awarded to a second year student from the undergraduate nursing program who achieved the highest average mark in all the modules and passed with a distinction. The recipients are Nadia Duplessis and Cassandra Vieira de Faria. And the Awards are presented by Dr. Jeanette Sibai. Oh, I almost got into trouble now. <laughs> Who is the head of the School of Nursing? <laughs> School of Nursing Floating Trophy awarded to a third year student from the undergraduate nursing program who achieved the highest mark average in all the modules and passed with a distinction. The recipient, Kristen Duval, and the award is presented by Dr. Jeanette Sbaying, the head of the School of Nursing. <clears throat> the School of Nursing Floating Trophy awarded to a final year student from the undergraduate program with the best clinical skills in midwifery practice and passed with a distinction. The recipient, Carly Stradom, and the award is presented by the head of the school, Dr. Jeanette Sibaying. <clears throat> school of Nursing Floating Trophy, awarded to a final year student in the undergraduate nursing program who achieved the highest average mark in midwifery theory and passed with a distinction. The recipient is Shani van Zaydem. The award is presented by Dr. Jeanette Sibaying, the head of the school. <laughs> school of Nursing Floating Trophy, awarded to a final year student in the undergraduate nursing program who achieved the highest average mark in all the clinical modules over four years of study and passed with a distinction. The recipient is Mareike Mare in absentia. <clears throat> School of Nursing Trophy, awarded to a final year student in the undergraduate nursing program who achieved the highest average mark in psychiatric nursing science theory and passed with a distinction. The recipient is Marissa Liebenberg in absentia. <clears throat> the PPC Insurance Company Prize awarded to a final year student in the undergraduate nursing program who achieved the highest average mark in all the theory and clinical modules. 
over the four years of study and passed with a distinction. The recipient is Marissa Liebenberg in absentia. <clears throat> Marissa Liebenberg was born in Bloemfontein. She began her school career at Fichat Park Primary in 2017, and she matriculated from secondary school Fichat Park. She participated in many sports, but was most dedicated to netball as a learner. She played in the under-17 in the South African Championship and was in her school's first team in 2017. From 2010 and 2017, she was a member of UCSA and UCSA leader from 2015 to 2017. After her metric exams, Marissa was amongst the top five academic achievers in her school. From an early age, she enjoyed outreach projects and throughout being in school, visited less fortunate schools in the Harib district and to donate clothes and school supplies. In 2018, she was selected to study nursing at the University of the Free State. Nursing was a career she knew she was meant to pursue. In 2019, she became a member of the Golden Key Honor Society, where she won academic achievement awards for her studies each year from 2018 to 2021. She graduated cum laude with distinctions and all her subjects throughout her four years of studying. During the COVID-19 pandemic, she donated newborn clothes and sanitary supplies to mothers in maternity wards and continues to do so during her community service placement. Her passion is primary health care because she enjoys educating, empowering, and promoting health in the community. Marissa plans to specialize in primary health care and improve health care services in a community with her knowledge. She's passionate about nursing and is committed to making a change in primary health care facilities. She's currently doing her community service at the Riversdale Hospital in the Western Cape. The School of Nursing is proud to present to Melissa Lewenberg with the PPS Insurance Company and wishes her well for the future. <clears throat> Wherever she is, I'm saying, hoi hoi. Faculty of Health Sciences Floating Trophies. The Faculty of Health Sciences Floating Trophy is awarded to a third year student who achieved the best results in respect of a first bachelor's degree in the Faculty of Health Sciences, provided that the qualification was obtained with distinction. The recipient of this award is Stefan Stradom from the B Medical Science with specialization in Radiation Sciences. The award to be presented by Prof. Ger, the Dean of Faculty of Health Sciences, who is the sponsor, and also to read the citation. Over to you, Prof. Stefan, you can join us. Uh, good uh, evening, all of you. It's a privilege for me to actually read the citation of uh, Stefan Stradom, BMDC Re Radiation Sciences, for the best uh, student in a third year degree in the faculty. Stefan ma matriculated with distinction in all uh, seven of his subjects. In his first year of study, he obtained distinction in 10 out of the 12 of his modules, second year 10 out of 11 modules, and during the third year of his uh, BMEDC radiation sciences course, he received distinctions in nine out of the total of 10 modules. We are proud to award Stefan uh, with the Faculty of Health Sciences uh, floating trophy for the best third year degree uh, student in the faculty, provided that a qualification had been obtained with distinction, achieved the best results in respect of a first bachelor's degree in the Faculty of Health Sciences. Congratulations, Stephen. The Faculty of Health Sciences Floating Trophy awarded to a fourth year student who achieved the best results in respect of a first bachelor's degree in the Faculty of Health Sciences, provided that the qualification was obtained with distinction. The recipient of this award is Lisa Marie de Klerk from B Occupational Therapy, 
Prof. Gert van Zeel will present the award. He's the sponsor and read the citation. Over to you, Prof. Thank you very much. Perhaps I need to say something about these floating trophies for uh, the best third year, fourth year, and fifth year uh, students. Uh, some of you might not know that in the past, um, the students received a Dean's Medal at graduation. And uh, you'll receive also Stefan and yourself who will receive your medals uh, tomorrow at graduation. But um, at the prize giving function, we were not able to actually recognize those best students in the faculty. And that's why we actually constituted this prize. So if you, if you thought that you've heard everything of Lisa Marie, <laughs> let me tell you a bit more about her. In her third year of study, she obtained the Department of Occupational Therapy Prize awarded to the best overall third year student. In her fourth year, she was the winner of the Utasa Prize for the best student, the PPS Insurance Company Prize for the best fourth year student in theoretical occupational therapy, as well as the Instop Floating Trophy uh, for the best fourth year student in practice management in the context of private practice. The Marlies Watermeyer Floating Trophy for being the student with the best performance over the four years of study was also presented to her. She obtained the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences Prize, which is awarded to the overall best final year student in the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences. As faculty, we are proud to award Lisa Marie de Klerk with the Faculty of Health Sciences Floating Trophy for the fourth year student who provided that the qualification has been obtained with distinction, achieved the best results in respect of the first bachelor's degree um, in the Faculty of Health Sciences. Congratulations. The Faculty of Health Sciences Floating Trophy awarded to a fifth-year fifth student who achieved the best results in respect of a first bachelor's degree in the Faculty of Health Sciences, provided that the qualification was obtained with distinction. The recipient of this award is Dr. Mario Vieira, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. Prof. Gert van Seyl will present this award as the sponsor and read the citation over to you, Prof. Thank you, Program Director. I'm sure that you are not um, that that you are not actually um, surprised about this this prize. But let me tell you more about uh, Mario that you haven't learned um, tonight. In the in his second year, Mario obtained the Anatomy and Physiology Floating Trophy as well as the Welsh Allen's Prize which is awarded to the student with the highest average mark obtained in all the modules in the second year. In his third year, he received the third year School of Clinical Medicine Prize, which is presented to the student who obtained the highest average mark in all the modules in the third year. During his fourth year, he was awarded the Henry Dubovsky, and perhaps I need to say something about uh, Dr. Henry Dubovsky. Dr. Hendry Dubowski was a pulmonologist that worked on TB at Palinomia Hospital and then also the Barry Fichard Medal and um, many of us will know uh, Dr. Barry Fichard, uh, a well-known uh, uh, surgeon that passed away for being the student who obtained the highest average mark in internal medicine and general surgery. And he also received the Discovery and Van Skyke Prize for being the best overall MBCHB fourth year student. During his final year in 2021, 11 out of the total of 17 offered prizes were presented to Mario. We are proud to award uh, Dr. Mario with the Faculty of Health Sciences floating trophy for the fifth year stu uh, student who, provided that the qualification had been obtained with distinction, 
achieved the best results in respect of the first bachelor's degree in the Faculty of Health Sciences. Thank you, Prof. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations once more to all the prizes recipients, and I'm sure you can really see that hard work really pays off, and we are well proud of you. And thank you, everybody. I think my job is done. I wanted to do some more, but unfortunately, this is the last page. So I will now invite Mrs. Marie Prinsloa for the acknowledgements. Over to you, Marie. Good evening. Um, on behalf of the awards committee of the Faculty of Health Sciences, we just sincerely want to express our gratitude towards people who contributed to the event. All personnel from the faculty, that includes the dean and the vice dean, all heads of schools and departments, as well as the personnel within the Faculty of Health Sciences. Without your support, understanding, and guidance, our students could not succeed in their studies. All the prize winners, the amount of hard work and the time commitment that you have dedicated towards your studies are truly commendable. The sponsors, you will find a list at the back of the program. Um, we greatly appreciate and value your support and generosity towards um, our organization. And without it, an event like this is not possible. The Master of Ceremonies, thank you for your professionalism. And we always appreciate your sense of humor. <laughs> Our guest speaker, Prof. Witness, thank you very much for your kind, inspiring words, your motivational message to our students. And then, I suppose by this time you are very hungry, we thank you to um, uh, the caterers, Bimento. They always serve delicious food, which will be available in the foyer of the Franz Rativ building. And then please make use of the photographer, Stephen Collett, also in the foyer of the Franz Rativ building. He will create beautiful memories for you of this evening. Then regarding the live streaming of the function, we'd like to thank Creative Kilowatt, Roistu, Gavin Kutsia from the ICT services, and then the Organizing Awards Committee. A very special thank you, especially to Colleen, Side note, and Ruben Maker for all the planning and logistics to make this function run smoothly. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Ms. Prinsler. You know, the privilege of working at the School of Nursing is to experience the ladiness in my colleagues. You could hear how she speaks. She conducts herself as a lady. Thank you, Ms. Prinslow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what I like about South Africa is Ubuntu. We can never bring you here and not give you something just to nibble. So you are indeed cordially invited to a function in the foyer of the Franz Charitive Building once we live here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You were such an wonderful, wonderful audience. Thank you, and clap for yourself. And travel safe, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.